Hey guys, welcome back to ED Figure. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Today we're going to take a look at SH Figure Arts, Comrider, Otoros Falcon, Japanese Wolf from Comrider Zero One. Um, definitely one of my favorite characters, while well, I always end up liking all of them. So, anyways, um, here's the left of the box, here's the right of the box, and here's the back of the box. Can't believe such a simple recolor can be so cool. But anyways, um, let's check it out. And here's the figure still in the inner packaging, looking really cool, and let's check it out. Alright, and here we have the figure itself, and as expected from the Evil Bandai Corp, the figure looks absolutely amazing. Even though this is just a straight up recolor, um, the color palette is really nice, I absolutely love the way this figure looks. And let's just take a close look at the figure. Um, this blue on blue on blue with silver, and metallic blue, and dark blue looks really, really good. Um, the translucent plastic and the eyes as usual, and yeah, like all this, well, detail looks really, really nice. Um, I don't seem to have any pain issues, the joints are nice and tight. Well, I take that back, I have a black dot over here, but honestly, I stopped caring about this kind of stuff years ago. Um, there's just so much to collect, and it gets really, really tiring if you're um, fixate on the detail like that. So, yeah, um, I don't think there's anything you guys haven't seen already, so we can jump straight into the articulation. It should be pretty standard. And for the articulation, let's quickly go over it from the neck down. He can look up about this much, can't really look down. You can tilt his head side to side, no problem. And for the shoulder, we have a pull out method, and you can raise his arm up about this much. And you have bicep swivel, can curl about this much. You have a swivel here as well, and you get the ball wrist, of course. And this is a little bit hindering because of the design here, but it's not too bad. And for the ab crunch, you can bend forward about this much, which is quite a lot, considering he's got all this armor design. You can bend backwards about this much. Um, the articulation is really, really good here. Um, he can do whatever he wants as a wolf-like um, posing. And he can kick up about this much, bend about this much, thigh swivel, side to side pivot, toe hinge. We have this 2.0 hip uh, with the details on there. Really, really cool. And yeah, um, I think that's it for the articulation. And of course, you can take off his gun. You can play with this. You can also take out a driver. Yeah, um, it's just a really decent um, Comrade Zero One figure, all right? And let's check out the accessories. And for the accessories, it is really straightforward, so I'm just going to quickly go over it and show you guys in detail during the action posing. Um, we get a pair of display open hands, and then um, two pairs of hands for holding the weapon. Um, one is trigger finger and one is not. And then we have a pair of fists, of course, over here. And then we have the claws and a broken one just for the right. Um, very straightforward. And yeah, I believe that's everything, and let's check out some action posing. And for the size comparison, let us start with some Kamen Riders from the same series, and I think they look amazing together. And Kamen Rider Zero One is very popular, so I wouldn't be surprised we'll see more figures from them. And next up, we have more Kamen Riders from different series, and of course they look very good together as well. And then we have some good old Dragon Ball SH figure arts. And lastly, we have some random Figma and Mayfax figures I have around, and let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Alright, so for the final thoughts, given that I really like this character, I do highly recommend it. Beautiful paintwork, amazing sculpt, he's gonna look great on the shelf. And yeah, um, I think that's it from me. Do let me know in the comments on what you think. And this is Eric, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!